Hello everyone. Semiconductor Electronics Part 6 Digital Electronics In this video, I will be discussing about mainly detail electronics, logic gates and about integrated circuits. So first, we can see the difference between analog and digital signals. That is analog signals are time varying continuous signals. The sinusoidal signal is an example of a analog signal. Now digital signals consist of just two discrete levels which can be represented by binary numbers 0 and 1. A square wave is an example of a digital signal. First one which is shown on the left is an analog signal while that on the right is a digital signal. In the case of detail signal, as we can observe, there are just two levels, that is level 0 and level 1. And hence, both these levels can be represented by the binary numbers 0 and 1. Now, detail signals have the advantage of more noise tolerance, that is, they are less prone to distortion when compared to the analog signal. Now the human voice is an example of analog signal, while signals used in computers mainly are digital signals. Now we can see about logic gates. For digital devices to function the way they do, a logic needs to be established between the input and output voltages. This is achieved by using a gate or a detail circuit that follows the logical relationship. Since they control the flow of information based on a certain logic, they are called logic gates. Each logic gate is indicated by a symbol and has a truth table which displays all possible input-output combinations. In short, the truth tables help understand the behavior of logic gates. These gates are made using semiconductor devices. Now the most commonly used logic gates are NOT, AND, OR, NAND and NOR. Now we can see about NOT gate. A simple gate with one input and one output. A NOT gate simply inverts the input signal. So the output is 0 when the input is 1 and vice versa. Due to this property, a NOT gate is also known as an inverter. This figure shows the simple and the truth table of a NOT gate. Now the AND gate. An AND gate also has two or more inputs and a single output. In this gate, the output is 1 when all the inputs are 1. In other words, the output is high when all the inputs are high. Now this figure shows the simple and the truth table of the AND gate. Now OR gate. An OR gate has two or more inputs and one output. The logic of this gate is that the output would be 1 when at least one of the inputs is 1. Simply put, the output is high when any of the input is high. The symbol is as shown in this figure and the truth table is also shown. Now this NOT AND AND OR are the basic gates. Now, a NAND gate is formed by the combination of a NOT gate and an AND gate. That is, the output is 1 only when all the inputs are NOT 1 or the output is high when all the inputs are NOT high and at least one of them is low. These are also called universal gates since the earlier three basic gates can be realized by using the NAND gate. The simple as shown and the truth table is shown in this figure. We can see that an inverter comes after a AND gate. Now the NOR gate that is an OR gate and a NOR gate. The output is 1 only when all inputs are 0 or the output is high when all the inputs are low. These are also called universal gates since 
like the NAND gate since the earlier three gates can be realized by using the NOR gate. The simple and the truth table are as shown in the figure. Now we can see about integrated circuits. The components like diode, transistor, resistor, inductor and capacitor are connected by soldering wires in desired manner to make conventional circuits. But still, such circuits are bulky. They are also less reliable and less shockproof. So the concept of fabricating an entire circuit on a small single chip or semiconductor is called integrated circuit. And the chip dimensions are as small as 1 millimeter into 1 millimeter or even less than that. Now, depending on the input signal of the integrated circuit, there are linear circuits in which the input signal is an analog and then there is the digital integrated circuit in which the input signal is a digital signal. The linear integrated circuit examples include the operational amplifier integrated circuit. Now the figure shows an example of an integrated circuit. As we can see, these are the different parts of an integrated circuit. That is, it consists of a chip, which is enclosed in a plastic case. And the leads are the contacts, that is, the metal pin. Now, the digital integrated circuits can be classified based on the number of gates on chip. That is, if the number of gates is less than or equal to 10, we call it as SSL, that is small scale integration. If the number of gates is less than or equal to 100, we call it as medium scale integration. And if the number of gates is less than or equal to 1000, we call it as large scale integration. And if the number of gates is greater than 1000, we call it as very large scale integration. So this is the end of this video. In this video, I have discussed about detail electronics logic gates and about integrated circuits. If you have got any doubt, please comment in the section below. Thank you.